Today we are doing something big. It is one of Copper's worst nightmares. We are going to give him a bath, a brush, and we're cutting your hair today. And it's, he, he doesn't like this when it, when it happens. This is a video that I have been wanting to film. You guys have been asking me to film for well over a year. Getting a golden doodle is not a low maintenance dog. I think a lot of people think that they're low maintenance, but if you do not comb their hair, it mats and then it hurts them. And so then you have to shave it. It's, I don't like shaving him. I think he's been shaved once and it was at the beginning when I didn't fully know how to groom him properly. I have really enjoyed grooming my own dog. One, it is really expensive and I probably groom my dog more than the average person. Like I like to get his haircut about every two weeks, maybe once a month, but I like to keep his hair fairly short because I do have to comb his hair and with four kids, I cannot believe I just said four. It's hard to find the time to remember to brush him. And so over the last about nine months, I have been keeping his hair a lot shorter than I normally would just because it keeps him from matting. And that way I don't have to stretch his grooming so far out that it's harder to groom him because if you wait too long, it actually is harder to do. It's easier just to maintain. I have a lot of friends that have golden doodles and honestly, I think Copper is just the perfect one. He is the best. He is so mellow. He is so calm. He is everything that I wanted in a dog. Copper, and I don't say this lightly, Copper is my emotional support animal and I truly did get him kind of for that. He is not like registered. I don't take him places that he shouldn't be going, but like I really did get him for that purpose. And um, he understood the assignment and he loves me so much. He is so calm. I think he's been probably the saddest since we've brought home a baby. <laughs> he's like, what the hell are the kids doing to me? The kids like put a collar on him and take him everywhere. And he literally looks at me and he's like, please save me. So I've had to share him a little bit more with the kids and I think he's getting adjusted to that. To start off with grooming copper, you have to brush your dog because if you just put water over them, their hair, whatever is matted, is going to mat harder and it's honestly like it's gonna hurt them. So I like this just like wide tooth comb. This is like what everyone gets, their dogs. It's like this like wiry um, brush and it really makes them fluffy. Um, Copper doesn't like this. He does not like it. If I put this on his legs, he doesn't like it. I use this sometimes in between washes to like fluff him up. Not his favorite. This is my favorite brush. Our pretty penny got to it and I think Copper got to it. So it's kind of beaten up, but I really like this brush. I never use this side. Supposedly this helps like make it look slick and stuff, but meh, I don't use it. This is my favorite side. It has probably been three weeks since I brushed copper and this is the amount of hair that came out. So there is hair there and um, yep, copper is all brushed. He has no knots. He is good to go. And now it, this is his worst part. He really doesn't doesn't really love this, but we're gonna go in the shower. I'm going to hook this to the wall and then I'm gonna put this over his head so he doesn't run away from me. Uh, and he does this when he knows he doesn't like something. He'll jump up like trying to hug me. I usually use Scout's Honor and this is a shampoo conditioner. I used to use a shampoo rinse and then condition, but um, I'm really tired. <laughs> so he's getting this um, and then I just have a little brush that I brush him. So let's go shower him. Oh, he knows what's happening. Come on, doodle, come on. You're just frozen like a statue. Now there's no going back. <laughs> Copper, Copper's ready to go. Then I take some shampoo and I rub it through his whole body. Then I just take a brush and I go through all of this fur. Yeah. Uh, 
that's the gross part. But it has to be done. And then we rinse him off. He gets nice warm water because that's exactly what I like. <laughs> oh, my legs hurt so bad when I do this. Well, you bend over for so long, yeah. And now your face looks like Dobby from Harry Potter. I rinse and I rinse and I rinse and I rinse. There's just, you really gotta rinse it out. Stay. Okay. So I leave him in there for just a second. And if he wants to shake a little more, he can. Uh, my back and legs are killing me. Okay. See, yep, there we go. Gotta get one more good shake out. Now this is the hard part. If I do not contain him quick, he runs everywhere. Maybe I should make sure that door's closed. Oh, he will be lying for it. But no, we'll, we'll just see, we'll see. Come here, right here. Oh, good job, okay. And he has a dedicated towel just for him. So this is Copper's towel. And we kind of fluff off. And I've learned that I need to get a leash on him right away or he will run off. Huh. Now, I did buy a blow dryer that's for dogs. Copper doesn't like it. He doesn't like any blow dryer. So I just do it in my bathroom. I use my own blow dryer. Use whatever dryer you want. Don't burn your dog's skin. Before I dry his hair, I do put in a Scouts Honor probiotic detangler and I will spray this all over him. I like the product. I don't like the packaging because I swear sometimes it doesn't even come out. And honestly, I usually do this the day before I clean my bathroom. Or like, oh, see, he, he does, but only wants to go away and he hides. Okay, here we go, you're getting all dried up. It's kind of an ordeal. The day I cut his hair, it's an ordeal. And when I first started doing Copper's hair, I would comb and wash him one day, and the next day I would cut his hair because it was hard for me. It took me a long time. It took, he didn't like it. And so I would break it up into two days. Now I feel confident enough whoo, that I can do it whoo, um, <laughs> in one day. Okay, come here. Let's stay on here where it's not slippery. When you're drying your dog's hair, it's probably best to like go through and comb it first. I just, I don't know if I do this right, it works for me. I just dry his hair and then when I'm done, I comb it. And I always have my hand on his fur while I'm drying because I can check the heat so I don't hurt him. Um, I don't have it high anyway, but that's what I do and it helps me go through his fur. Copper is very done. The baby needs to be fed. The last thing I do is I brush him one more time. I'll feed the baby and then we'll go give him a haircut. You hear him? Mm -hmm. You were so hungry you didn't know what to do with yourself. So I've got Copper up on his little table and I have this that kind of holds him. So this is the tool that I use to groom copper. The reason I love it is because I can groom him while it's charging and I love that because sometimes it dies. So I love this charger. I use the six millimeter under his armpits and kind of around his private areas. And then I will use a nine millimeter over his hair. His hair right now, I feel like is the perfect length. It looks really good, but like I said, to help me maintain him with four kids right now, I just like to cut him a lot shorter. So I'm using the nine millimeter. Sorry, we just had a visitor drop off Penny's uh, chew toy. <laughs> but I do think the 12 millimeter looks great on his hair as well. But where I want it short, I'm using the nine millimeter. This is the scissor set that I use on his hair. I use the thinning shears around his face and regular scissors, and then around his paws and eyebrows, I'll use the curved scissors. I'll have all of the tools that I use for copper in the description below. I used to groom copper's hair just by scrouching down, and after about three or four times of doing that, I thought, 
I'm just gonna buy myself a table and put it in the garage. So I really love having this table. This is the perfect size of table. I believe they have larger ones for like really big dogs, but this is perfect for copper. And then down here is the dryer. It's just super strong. So he doesn't love it. I love just doing it on my bathroom floor, but this does work for him and I do like the dryer, but he specifically like freaks out even more with it. So again, with everything that I'm using, I'll link in the description. I got this table off of Amazon. Last tool that I love, I have to maintain and clean my area as I go. This is our dog vacuum. Um, we had it for a while and then it just turned into the dog vacuum. So as I groom his hair, you'll see me take the vacuum and I'll kind of uh, suck up the hair. And then after it gets full, we dump it. We use this with Penny when we groom her as well to kind of clean up the area. So I'm going in with the nine millimeter and I'm going to start kind of right behind the bone of his head. I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna go all the way down, all on the sides. I'm gonna go down on the tummy. I'm gonna lift up his head and not go quite to his lip, but right here. And I'm gonna go all the way down and I'm going to do it up until his legs right here. So let's get him all groomed first up here. So as I'm going right behind his head with the scissors, I'm gonna lift up his ears and I'm gonna go right behind his ears as well. And I kind of go down on his on his neck and face right here. This will help him really not look so chubby in the face. So I do this a few times. I go over this and pass his body probably three times so I really make sure I don't get any straight. So I'm starting the back of his head, going all the way down. I go down his sides like this and then I go down kind of up until his little elbow right here. And then I'll do the other side. So I have groomed him all the way to here. I've groomed him all down here and I've groomed him here to here. I've lifted up his face and I've groomed him all the way down. I'll lift up his leg and I'll go in the opposite direction under his armpit. This is where a lot of doodles get uh, matted under their armpits. So I'll make sure to really groom him under there. And then I'm gonna go on this side and do the same thing. I lift up his head. I'll move his ear out of the way. He's on some medicine right now for a little yeast in his ear but I'll start right here and I'll go all the way down under his ear, go all the way down to here. So now I'm gonna do this side. going over it again because I don't want to miss any strays. So I go over it several times. I do under his armpit. 
Now sometimes I'll do a smaller millimeter in his armpit, but honestly, I, I don't think he needs it, but you can do that. Again, I'm taking that 12 millimeter and I am going right here like I did with the front legs, even back here. So kind of by his tail, I'll use it by his bum. I'll go all the way down to part of his leg right there. Now, when I used to get copper groomed, I was kind of always annoyed that they would like really cut the first few inches really short on his tail. Now I know why, it's because it just gets matted so easy. So I do the same thing, I go down a few inches. Doing his bum and legs is the hardest. I mean, I don't blame him for being like, what the heck's going on back there, but we gotta do what we gotta do. With his ear, I'll go right up into the ear, just like right here, and really make sure I cut that as well. All the way down his neck, all the way down his side. Just like that. Now, I'll take this, I'll lift one leg up, and I'm gonna go on the inside of his leg, and I am going to go down kind of around the same, not all the way down, just about a little ways down. So Copper doesn't like me lifting up his leg very much. It's not very comfortable to them. So I'm gonna go in with that six millimeter now. And this is just where they get a lot of knots is like under here, under their armpits, under their legs. So, so far we're still grooming him from the back of his head to his bum all the way just to here. So now I'm going in with that smaller millimeter and I'm just kind of doing as much as he'll let me under his body because there's this is just where a lot of knots come in and this is gonna be shorter anyway and it'll keep him from nodding up, and I'll do as much as he'll let me, but I'm kind of like going in under his armpits. Copper's pretty good to stay on the table, so I'm gonna take this off. Right in front of his private area, I'm gonna do the same thing because when he pees, it gets kind of ucky. So right here, I like to go a little bit shorter as well. Now I'm going in with the three millimeter and I'm going to go very carefully around his private a little bit more. So Jared just asked me a question. He goes, why don't you just go from a nine to a three millimeter? Why did you do a nine, a six, and a three? It's just easier to blend. Just like if you were to cut a little boy's haircut, it's easier to do a two, a one, and then a zero versus just cutting it with a zero and then there'd be such harsh lines. It's easier for me to blend and it's easier for me just to go a little shorter here and there because if I were just to go in and go short, what if he was like really fussy and fidgety and wanted to run off? It would look kind of more botched. So I just like doing that. Um, I don't think the whole area needs to be a three. I just wanted to do right around his private area a three. I'm also gonna lift up his tail and he doesn't like this either. Um, I'm gonna lift up his tail with that three 
And I'm just going to go under the tail a little where it gets knotted. And I'm going to go down. You want to be really careful. And then I'm going to go up. Maybe to the side a little. And make sure that that area is nice and clean. So now that Copper is like his main body is all cut, I'm going to do his legs. Legs are the absolute hardest for me. So I've already groomed up to about here with the clippers. I'm going to brush his fur kind of outwards, kind of upwards actually, so that his fur is really fluffy. Now I've seen a lot of groomers will scissor cut this. I've tried scissor cutting it for the amount of time it takes me to scissor cut it. I just, for me, I would rather just use clippers. So I'm going to comb his legs out and fluff them out really well so that I don't miss any hair cutting it. And the reason I'm combing it upwards is to get it really fluffy because when you're using the clippers and going down, it's pushing the hair down anyway. Now with doodles, usually their legs are groomed a little bit fluffier and longer than their bodies. And with the clippers, it's really easy to get patches of really short botchiness. And you can see this from the last time I cut his hair. See how botched and short in between there is? Because they're bones, it's just really hard to make it even. So I'm fluffing it up. He really hates his legs being combed. And I kind of take this and I go in between his toenails. So you can see his leg looks really fluffy. I think it actually looks really good with his body right now. Now I'm taking the 12 millimeter. I'm doing a little bit bigger than I did on his body. And ooh, that was loud. Let's fix that. And I'm going to just go straight down and I'm not gonna dig, because if I dig into his paw, it's gonna cause that blotchiness like you saw I did last time. So the the legs are really hard, especially if they're not sitting still for you. I'm just going straight down. So all the hair's already fluffed up, so it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to groom. But I mean, this would be really hard if your dog was jumping around and not happy. I do it in sections. I'm just going to his paw. I'm not doing his paw yet. I'm just doing his leg. Now that I did his leg, I'm going to fluff it. I'm going to fluff up all of his fur again. And I'm going to do it again to get anything that I missed, which I did a lot. Now I'm going to take his paw and lift it up and not dig into it, just smooth it. Because when I dig, that's when you get botchiness going on, which I do every time. I'm still really learning with his paws, but I'm just kind of doing, and I'll go down kind of by the toenails. So once again, I'm gonna kind of fluff everything up. So I just fluffed everything up and I can see spots that I've missed. I'm just gonna do it one more time. Don't forget the back of his paw or the sides. And I'm gonna hold his paw and I'm gonna just do this one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of his paws because Jared needs to go get the baby. Let me show you what I'm gonna do with his paw now that it's groomed and then come back and watch me finish the rest. So I'm gonna take the rounded scissors and I'm gonna lay his foot straight on the table and I'm going to round his cute little paw and tell me that that doesn't look like the cutest little leg and paw you ever did see. So now you can see that this leg is nice and groomed with the rounded paw. 
and this one is kind of shaggy, ready to be cut. So I'm gonna cut the rest of the paws and Jared will be back hopefully when the baby's asleep. Okay, we are getting closer to being done with his hair. Now I'm going to take the bottom of his paws and I'm going to lift him up like this and I will take the trimmers and I kind of hold right under that little, I'm gonna hold right under that little pad and I hold his foot and I kind of open his paw up a little and I'll kind of clean out the hair a little bit. I'm not good at this, I still get really like nervous doing this, but this is really good for their paw pads and helps clean out all the gunk. Come here. Almost done, Doodle. So I know I could do a better job, but this is as good as I feel like I can do with him letting me. When it comes to their paws, now would be when I would trim his nails. And I, I, I've done it once or twice. I hate doing it. I feel really anxious still about it, so. Um, I'm not gonna do his nails today. When you first start grooming, I, I think you should order the, what is it, the, is it septic or something? Something like that, and then you can dip their paw in it if you do happen to make them bleed. It'll stop the bleeding. So I did have to order that one time. He's so sorry when I clipped his toenails. So I get really anxious with that. So now all of that's done, now I need to use the scissors on him. So we are going to cut his tail and then we're gonna cut his hair. And this is when he's done. He's very done, he wants to be done, and he will fall asleep when I cut his face. So his tail is now what I'm going to cut. Just like with his bottom, he doesn't really like me over by his tail. And I see a lot of doodles with really long tails and a really long mustache. I dislike that so much. I like his tail to be nice and short, just like his hair. So I hold his tail up and I find the tip of it and I hold it with my thumb so that I know where the tip of it is. And I would like to be on the other side, but honestly he turns his body and it's hard. So I kind of cut it funny. So I've got the tip of his tail and I'm just gonna kind of make that first line so I know that the rest of his tail, I'm gonna follow that line all the way down. Making sure all of the hair's down. Copper, hold still. So now I'm gonna look at his tail, and I don't think it's crazy long, but I think it's short enough. So I wanna go just a little shorter. Oh, you hear Penny barking at something. So now we are doing his face, his paws, his sides, his bum, his tail is all groomed. And now we are doing his sweet face. So I'm gonna take the comb and brush everything so it's nice and smooth. See how I can't see his little eyeballs? I start right there. So I'm gonna take the curved scissors and I'm going to go right where his eye is, almost pretty much lay it down and I'm gonna cut a V, and then I'm gonna do the same over here, lay it right down, and cut a V, comb it up. Oh, what is Penny barking at? Is there a cat? They bark at the cats. So I'm gonna do the same thing, comb it up. Cut a V, you're okay, Copper. Same thing, comb it up. You gotta do that a few times so that you don't miss any of the hair. So I'm gonna do it one more time. Okay. Now I'm gonna take the thinning shears. And when I used to take them, they would almost use the clippers and clip right here, super short. I don't like that. So I'm just taking the thinning shears, 
pretty much hold it against his head, almost. And I'm gonna cut this out. That way, there's a nice indent. So that I can go up and now I can take it and like blend it up too if I want but I'll take the scissors and do that so right here it's nice and open for him next I'm gonna take his hair and I'm gonna comb it all forward like look at that face oh my gosh God. copper you are so perfect so I pull I combed it all forward and I'm gonna take that rounded scissors again and I'm gonna start like look how good he is guys look how perfect you are you're so perfect it wasn't always this way I've been cutting his hair for what a year and a half now now I got hair on my mouth I shouldn't have kissed you and I'm gonna take the rounded scissors and I'm going to cut out so he can see brush everything Forward. Same with this side, brush it forward. So that he can see. Now I'm gonna brush it up. And now I'm gonna do the top of his head before I move down to his mustache. So with the rounded scissors, I'm gonna start right by his ears. And I'm going to just Start cutting the top of his head. Do not cut your doodle's ear. I repeat, do not cut your doodle's ear. So I'm just gonna kind of go along the top. And I'm just cutting off a lot of the length. So this is where the clippers met his head. This is where the clippers were. Now this is his top of the head. Just gonna do a little shorter. I tend to leave this a little longer. So we're just like freestyling it. Now I'm gonna comb it all back. At least I got kind of the length that I want. Now I'm gonna take those thinning shears and it's still gonna cut the hair, but at least it'll like blend. So now I'm gonna do the same thing just with those thinning shears. And I'm gonna do that probably twice. So now that I have used the thinning shears by his eye and his head, I think think that looks pretty good. You can comb it forward and kind of do it a little bit more where it's thicker by the edge of his face. Okay, so now I'm gonna do his ears last. So Copper, you handsome boy, I'm gonna comb off down his mustache right here. I do not like him to have a big ol' mustache. Comb it really good. And I'm still learning and I'm still working here. So I'm gonna comb the top, kind of fluff it up like I do his legs. I'm gonna fluff up kind of his mustache because I want this rounded. So I fluff it up so that it's kind of the shape that I want. And I'll take these rounded scissors and I'll hold my hand on his lip so that I don't, so I know where I'm doing it. And I'll just kind of cut by the lip and then I'm gonna go inward. And I go just, just like that around. I'm gonna do this. Kind of round it. Now I'll do the other side. Okay. 
So I might go back and use the thinning scissors on that as well. But now I'm gonna lift up his nozzle a little bit. And I'm going to just go under here now a little bit. Because I just want this to have a little bit more fur on the edge of his nose. That's why I use the clippers from here down. I left this a little fuller. So what I would like to do is where he gets this in his mouth, where you can see it's, his hair is a lot more red. I would love to be able to trim this, but he doesn't really let me very well. And it's kind of nerve wracking because it's by his lips. So I try and do the best I can. Sometimes he'll open his mouth and I'll try and like, cut it like that, you know, just. See, he's done. He's done. But I'm gonna try my best to be careful. You're doing so good, Doodle. We're almost done. Doodle. We're almost done. We're almost done. So I don't like any mustache, so I comb it all down and try and cut it off. Let's see how you look. You cute boy. Okay, I think his face is gonna be as good as I can get right now. I really like it. Now I'm gonna do his ears. I also see a lot of doodles with really long ears, really fluffy ears, and it's not my favorite. You can take a long guard. I'll take the 12. And I don't do this every time, just when they get really fluffy. I am going to go along his ear, just so it's not so fluffy. Let's do this ear. I do this probably every other time. And then once again, really make sure it's trimmed under his ear. And then sit down, Copper. I'm going to touch the edge of his ear so you do not clip his ear. I say that because I've had bad experiences. I'm so sorry. I nipped his ear one time and it was really traumatic. So hold the edge of his ear so you make sure you do not cut it. And I personally like to have his ears short. So I just will take my scissors and kind of put his ears out, holding the edge of his ear so I know where his ear is at. Around the bottom, I like to round it. So here's the edge of his ear. I put my finger there so I don't cut it. Ears and feet are intimidating on the dogs. See, he's very done, but he's being really good for me. Same with this side, I kind of like fray out his ear like that. So you can see how if you're just getting started with grooming your dog, how you would want to cut this up into two days because it's a lot of work for you and it's a lot of work for your dog. Your dog is going to be really done, especially after just the shower. So for the longest time, I would shower him and comb him one day and the next I would cut his hair, but now we can do it in one day and I am just about done. It probably takes me a good 45 minutes to cut his hair. Copper, you were so good. You were so good, yes you were, you're done. Yes, you're done, yes. <laughs> so now I'm going to just take that um, blower and blow him off, sit down. This is the blower that I had for him. 
And I'm just going to blow him off a little. If he doesn't like it. Okay, he is officially all groomed. He looks so good. He still looks nice and fluffy. And, oh, he smells so good. And it's, it's, it's an ordeal. Like, now I need a shower. Now I'm going to clean my bathroom. The days I groom him, it is an all-day ordeal. <laughs> so now, instead of using that money, which here, it would be about $60 to $80 to have that done. And now I use that money to do my nails. I really like grooming my own dog. I, I really, really enjoy it. I take pride in grooming him and I just think he looks really good. So let's go see him run around. guys enjoyed watching me groom my doodle copper is a petite golden doodle and he is about 22 pounds right now he has gained some weight since I have come home from the hospital thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye guys